Hi, this is Chris from FreeHuntingLand.com. Just another short video to show you uh, how to log into your account once you're a paid member and where to get the data and, and, and what to expect when it, when it shows up when you view it in Google Earth. <clears throat> so in the last video we signed up for an account. We're going to log in with that account. the log on button this happens once in a while if you were previously logged on your session expires so re-enter your password oh boy there we go <clears throat> so here is your product membership information page it tells you you know when your subscription runs for what how much you paid here's where you want to go here's the where we get all the data for all of Wisconsin you click on this link that brings you to this page there's a little disclaimer here just saying you know don't, don't get in a conflict with a landowner if you're hunt MFL or uh, forest crop law land there's a possibility that there's a, an error in the data or um, somebody bought some land and paid to take it out of the program and now it's posted so always obey no hunting and no trespassing signs and also be aware that the smallest parcel that we draw is a 40 acre chunk so that's a quarter quarter section there are some of these that we show that have um, less than 40 acres so you got to use your best judgment there lots of times you'll look at the the colored square let's say a forest crop law and it'll it's a yellow square and it'll show uh, when you click on it, it'll say there's 28 acres that are open well you'll see that there's 12 acres that's a field or um, somebody somebody's house or on the other side of the road so you know that that's most likely not what's in the program but anyway you go down here and you pick an area that you want to you want to uh, view and all you got to do is click it once and uh, it downloads to your computer in about a, um, a couple seconds depending on your connection speed then uh, click it again and that'll open up Google Earth now Google Earth is going to need to go um, to our server to get the actual data so we log in here sure if it's got the right password in here tell it to remember your password click OK and boom it gets the data and displays and again this may take a little while if you have a slower connection so be patient wait uh, over here this thing was spinning showing that it's getting the data don't click on it again um, because uh, you'll get two sets of data and that'll really slow things down okay so um, that's what I wanted to show you here you can zoom in by double clicking um, or using a mouse wheel if you have a, a mouse wheel or by using this we're going to show you some more um, tips and tricks in Google Earth in the next video I don't want to waste too much time in this one uh, but one of those is uh, this transparency being able to see underneath uh, the, the images. Okay, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.